Hmm. Let's see what's here. Wait. I hear something. Eve, look up! My goodness. I can't believe this. This is the Alpha Nateba. You can tell by looking at its core. An Alpha core? If she were... Eve. Hmm? There's something you need to know. The truth is... Hello? Here! Can somebody rescue me? Please? Are you in voice? In the pod. If you're there, please help. Ah! What the...? Uh. A survivor from the airborne squad. Oh. Were you the one who sent the rescue signal? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, it was me. You're a member of the 7th Airborne Squad, right? Yes. And you? Right. Let me introduce myself. I'm an engineering support of the 5th Airborne Squad. Lily Artemis II. But you can just call me Lily. <laughs> so just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes, thank you so much for saving me. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, 
You're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yes. Then I can be your engineering support. Of course, I will need proper equipment first. Equipment? Hmm. Well, I did want to say something earlier. What is it? Actually, there's a city where other survivors, besides me, live. What? Really? It's called Zion, humanity's last city. If we go there, there might be people that can help us. I have a safe house with some equipment I bet you would want. Then let's head there quickly! Before that, I would like to ask you something. Currently, Zion is holding out under the guidance of Oracle, who is also our spiritual leader. It's complicated. Eve, I imagine completing your mission isn't any easier having lost your comrades. So, please, help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Oracle and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. It's about joining forces and helping each other, just like we did before. Sound good? Yes. Thanks to teamwork, I was able to get the Alpha Core. Maybe we can get more information in the city, Eve. Think about it. Yes. I suppose there's no reason to say no. However, I want to decide after hearing the story from that person you're calling Orkle. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I can definitely get behind that idea. Well, I guess that settles that. All right then, let's head to Zion. Yes! Surprising to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's out, but it's weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. underneath the wasteland it's amazing even in the darkest times it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct so where do we go no time for breaks typical leave Oracle is in the presence chamber. Follow me. Looks like they built the city deep and high.
Are all those walls around the city supposed to protect it from Natiba attacks? The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. Most likely, there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. Everyone hiding because of us. We have a situation here. A situation? You'll see when you get to the presence chamber. Come on, we're almost there. Hey, Rael, it's been a while. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. Good luck. Good luck. The memories are kept, right? You've got a keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Netiba. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. 
please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well then, I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... how do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Natiba. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Eve, here. Please follow Adam. Hey, Lily, this way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Hey, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. Is this some kind of graveyard? No. The people here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Ave, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells, if the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma. Outsiders, thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Natiba now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh. This here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. 
my skills are still limited, shall we say, so I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. Oracle has given us the order to cooperate with you, so I'll be watching. I do not trust you. I will not forgive you if you threaten our order. Angel, Zion has several rules. Usually it's a temporary measure to prevent the fall of the city. You must always remember this. The city is in grave danger. Other than that, it's all up to you, really. I wouldn't mind if you saved us. Angel, I heard you contributed to resolving the problem with the hyperdrive. Keep it up and do what you can, as long as it benefits Zion. Angel, the Sentinels are watching you. Oracle has allowed you to enter the city. However, that doesn't mean that you can do as you please. Oh, I feel better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Scary-looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Hey, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. <laughs> 